If you're a web designer and developer, you must know about Slider. This is an extremely important function and is almost available on every website. Most people always think that having to code it yourself will take a lot of time and many lines of code. But today, Lundev will share with everyone a way to create a slider. One line of JavaScript logic. That's right, when we don't follow the usual logic anymore, change in creativity will help us create unique lines of code. Here I have a slider class. Inside the slide, there are three images representing the three items of the slider. And here it is on the website. I haven't done anything to it, not even CSS. In a normal slider, items will be fixed in position. When we want to activate an item, we will assign the active class to the position of that item. For example, if we want to activate the second item, we must assign the active class to the second item, and the same happens with other items. But now, let's try to change this logic. What is fixed is not the items anymore, but the active position. If I specify that the first item position is always the active item, then if the red item wants to be active, it has to move to the first position. When the yellow item loses its position, it will move to the last position. So practice this logic with code. First, since the item in the first position is always the active item, then I will hide all items except the first item. Right. So now only the item in the first position will be displayed on the screen. Next, we will work with JavaScript. First, I will need to declare the two elements I need to work with, the slider element and the next click button. When the user clicks the next click button, to be able to activate the second item, that means the first item must move to the last position. To get the first item, we just need to combine the query selector and first child. Append is the function used to move the position of a specific element to the last position of the slider. So here, I will use the append function to move the first item to the last position. So I just used a single line of JavaScript logic to solve this problem. Here is the result. It worked. And even better than expected because it created an endless loop, we could click forever and never reach the last item. Because when the second item was moved to the active position, it became the first item. And so on, we could continue the original logic. And just like that, we were able to create an infinite slider with just a single line of JavaScript logic code. But if some of you have worked with the append function, you may disagree with me because the append function in JavaScript is responsible for adding a new element at the end. Then if the user keeps clicking, the number of elements will continuously increase and that is of course extremely bad. Just kidding, because most of the current documentation only mentions the append function at the end, but doesn't mention another very important function which is moving the element position. Imagine this. I'm still going to use the append function, but with a lead tag that is a new tag that I've created, then the append function will take on the role of placing this new element at the end. But if I now select an existing element, for example, I will select the existing element with ID first, then at this time, no element is added. Simply the item with value one has moved to the last position. Similarly, look at how our slider works when next is clicked. Simply the images are swapped. No new item appears here. By the way, this append function knowledge also applies to the append child function. Similarly, if the user presses the prev button, instead of moving the item to the last position, I will move the last item to the first position and so on, an infinite reverse loop is formed. Using this logic in the code as follows. When the user clicks on the prep button, I run a function. In this function, I also use only one line of JavaScript logic code to move the image in the last position to the first position, in which last child is the image in the last position, and prepend is the JavaScript function used to move the element to the first position. And here is the result. It worked well. We actually only use one line of JavaScript code to handle this logic. You know, when we work, when we change our way of thinking, want to think differently from the usual logic, we will find new, more interesting solutions. It may or may not be effective, but certainly your thinking and coding ability will develop rapidly. And as usual, now it's time for me to read and reply to random comments from everyone. Dude, that's mind blowing. Never thought about SVGs in that way. This is a comment from a GSAP animation video. Usually in most videos, I will share a cool trick that is not mentioned in the title. So please watch the whole video. Thank you very much.
Where do you find awesome images? And I mentioned it in a recent community post. Pinterest is the place to go for all the images you need because it's where most of the images from other websites are aggregated. However, usually the images I use are edited to my liking. Thanks for comment. And finally, can you do a video every day? Thank you very much. I am still continuously creating interesting content to share with everyone. To bring a quality video, it needs to go through many stages, including ideation, design, coding, video recording, and editing. So it will always take time for a video to be published. And that's all the content of this video. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to continuously update interesting videos about programming and web design. Thank you, everyone. See you again in the next video.